Hello guys, Dave Relax from here, and today I'm here to show you EFT, E-Fitting Tool. Um, it is a basic free fitter for EVE Online. And what I'm going to be showing you how to fit today is a Gila. The Gila is a Garusta's uh, cr faction battle cruiser. It's usually ranges from 200 to 250 million ISK. And they are awesome ships. Now these are some bad fits. This is when I first started out. Now if we go to my current fit, <coughs> as you can see here I have two drone damage amplifiers, two coprocessors, and uh, I'll tell you what the coprocessors are for later, an EM ward field, and if we go to centers, EM ward field, thermic dissipation field, an ominid directional tracking link, a Republic Suite 10 MN afterburner, a Dead Space small shield booster, booster, and a shield boost amplifier, three heavy launchers, T2, and three and two T2 drone link augmenters, and three medium capacitor control circuits. Now, um, with all this up, you can go up to 730 DPS at and the Omnir Omnid directional tracking link increases the tracking speed, tracking range, and um, fall off range for um, drones and sentries, or mainly for sentries. So, you could probably hit 40 kilometers with these T2 guards, which gets you up to 730 DPS. And this is, a, of course, level 5. Mine does about 550 some. Yes, but, um,. If you were up close and we were to change this into heavy assault, oh, assault, you go to 755 DPS. And for some reason, T2 ogres do more DPS than the T2 guards, and the guards do the most century damage of them all. So we do 792 DPS. Yes. From. Well, we can hit from 30 kilometers here. So that is a quite large range. It's more than a basic sniper battlecruiser fit. Or it's as most. At most. So yeah. This is a very good PVE ship. I highly recommend it for PVE. Now, for those who don't want to start off wasting 500 million isk as I did, you know, doing this, I started off with a basic fit. Here, we'll make a new fit. Starter fit. Oh, I forgot to. Oh, I'll t I'll tell you later. Now, drone damage amplifiers. These increase the DPS of your drones. I usually fit two. If you can't do T2, then do T1. It doesn't matter. Don't rush yourself. Now, the Gila relies on speed and its tank. No, it has to be, always be moving. And I'll show a E video of the Gila and its ratting videos and stuff. Um, you put in two co processors. Make sure you put the dash in there. I think T1's alright. I don't know. I've, I, when I've made this fit, it was T, T2. But if, we, if normal T1's don't work, like the normal ones, use the nano-mechanical ones. I think those are it, but I don't know. Because they are meta level 4. And EM Ward Field. Again, if you can't fit the T2, use the Meta level four. A thermic, and I'm doing this for Sancha fits. If I'll link a description, I'll link a uh, damage resist in the description below for what you should fit. A medium shield booster. Now, yes. What you saw was on my original fit is a normal small shield, dead space shield booster. That does the same as this. 
except it uses less CPU, it has uses less cap, and its and its um, cycle times are a lot faster. So that's why I like using it. <laughs> and plus, the Dead Space one is a hundred fifty million. This is two million. <sighs> yeah, a shield boost amplifier. And two cap recharges, rechargers. If you can't use those, use the U Utesic, uh capacitor charger arrays. And this is all our cap will be using. That is all. Now we put in two, three medium, oh, capacitor control circuits. There we go. Our cap is at f our cap is stable at fifty nine percent. Wait a second. Oh, forgot some. I'm stupid. A ten mn afterburner. Now, if um, unless you're uh, with fleet and you're ratting with uh, and you're ratting by yourself, I recommend. No, just orbiting your drone to 10 kilometers. You get to your max speed. You'll be able to hit everything. Heavy missile launchers. And if you're with a guy who's like super close, like a Proteus blaster cannon guy, then switch these with heavy assault missile launchers. Inch drone link augmenters. Now, if don't be scared about using all this T2 stuff. Don't be s scared about you know, training it all so quickly. Because I, I started this game a while back. And I have a lot of skills. Like the boss. No, I'm kidding. Um, for some reason, that's not showing cap stable. Oh, yes. It's because with the medium shield booster. Um, so this is your basic fit and drones. Um, ogres. Always have an ogres. It does 767 by itself at level 5. Probably a guy who just can basically fit all this at level 1. I'm thinking 600 DPS. Maybe less, I don't know. See how much uh, CPU this uses? So I think you have to get co uh, T2 coprocessors. Because they use quite a bit of cap. And, uh, some guards. And if you can't use these, just use, um, uh, normal, uh, just use curators or whatever you're doing with. Curators do a ton of range, and there's the third. Biggest DPS guys, I think. I don't know. All right, and uh, also just have a couple hammerheads and some hobgoblins to kill out those cruisers and frigs. Unless you're out far with uh, sentries, and that won't freaking matter because they'll be dead hitting you. Oh. All right, there we go. And the rest is whatever you want. I I recommend some uh, ECM drones if you're riding in low or zero zero space. And uh, yeah, there you go. This is the Gila Battle Cru or Gila Cruiser. I don't know. Why I call it a Battle Cruiser. So um, I hope you had a nice time watching this vid and uh, fly safe. Oh seven.